Hey everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, where last time we were able to hold off pirates who were trying to destroy the victory, including Osborne's father. It was a bit of a mess, but we managed to succeed. And now Gimthota has one final task for us before we leave the Dry Docks. Gimthota, wish uh, Gimthota wishes to entrust you with an important task. Satora, in light of your role in recent events, there are a few others to whom I would entrust this task. Since last we spoke, a curious missive has been discovered amongst the personal effects of Atzapfin, the pirate behind the plot to sabotage the victory. The missive was penned in the most unusual script, a script we believe to be some manner of code. Needless to say, anything which a proven enemy of Limsa Lominsa deems worthy of enciphering is like to be of great interest in the Maelstrom. Unfortunately, not among us can make any sense of the message. In cases such as this, I am told the Yellow Jackets are wont to turn to Batteron and his convenient connections. Thus, I would have you deliver this missive to the proprietor of the Drowning Wench. Into his hand and no other, do you understand? Alright then. This is going to be one of those really, really short quests. All we have to do is speak to Batteron. So I'm actually going to burn time by walking back to Limsa. Listen, I'm... As much as it is a good idea for me to keep these episodes consistently one quest per, I'm not a fan of these really short quests. I, f I think I've said that in the past. Eventually, the story quests get significantly longer. Like, they're consistently in the 10 to 15, sometimes rarely in the 30 minute range. Uh, just depending on what happens. 30 minute quests are usually more important story events, like major story events. Main story quests do get a bit longer eventually, uh, but until then I'm going to be maintaining the pace of one quest an episode even if it's a really short quest. But yes, I wanted to just reflect a little bit on our time so far in Limsa Lominsa, as our time here is actually coming close to an end. We are coming to the climax of this introductory arc. Yeah, we came here on a boat, we got a job with the Adventurers Guild, got tossed on a whole bunch of little jobs, tr uh, tried to stop some kidnappers only to be nearly assassinated, got visions of a crystal who told us to bring light back to the world, so that's a lot of pressure. We continued helping out th at the farm, actually stopped the kidnappers who turned out to be pirates, fought a golem of all things, and then we got sent on a wild goose chase, well not a goose chase, but sent on a series of missions uh, to the cliffs in middle Lenosia, which brought us to western Lenosia's farming villages, which brought us to the Armorer's Guild, which then brought us to the Dry Docks, where we've discovered more issues with pirates. We have had a wild trip through Limsa Lominsa. As you may be able to put together, this introductory bit of the game is very much just setting you up. It's letting your character get set up as, oh, you're new to the area, nobody really knows you, but you, through some good practice and very convenient, or very coincidentally convenient events, had the opportunity to really prove yourself in combat as a person who was worth uh, getting help from. And building up that notoriety is going to be what sets us on the actual pro uh, plot of the game proper, once people actually are aware of our deeds and how useful we can be. Uh, a lot of A Realm Reborn, the entirety of A Realm Reborn, the base game for Final Fantasy XIV, was made in the span of two years, I want to say, which is an incredibly short amount of time for an MMORPG. It was made in such a short time because the original launch of the game was an absolute catastrophe. As in, could have destroyed Final Fantasy as a brand catastrophe. The original Final Fantasy XIV was a mess. Uh, so in order to fix it, they brought in uh, Yoshi P, the new director of the game, uh, who took over from the old team. And he just went to town with his team on an absolutely wild mission to just reboot the game from scratch, dropping the moon into the planet, having it explode into Bahamut, who was hiding in there, and destroy the entire world, effectively. 
which is a great way to end one MMO and put a uh, give a bit of a backstory to set up the uh, set up the replacement. Also gives a very good excuse for why this entire world is kind of not doing great right now. Uh, but because they were in such a rush to save the game and reboot it into 2.0, A Realm Reborn is very much a little bit light on the plot. Uh, a lot of people see A Realm Reborn story as being not as not so great, uh, especially in comparison to the expansions, which are incredible. But I will say I still stand by A Realm Reborn as being great in its own way. It doesn't have the same highs as the expansions. But as we go through, it is so much world building and setting up this fantastic planet of Heidelin and everything that's going to happen going forward. I don't believe that uh, I don't believe that without a realm reborn we could have possibly had the highs we get in the many expansions to come. Anyways, I just wanted to make sure I had that little ramble somewhere near the beginning of the game and that felt like a good time to do it. Better on. Hello. Ahoy there, Satora. I've been hearing about your deeds of the Drydox. Osburn laid out the entire tale for me. Poor Sod was still reeling at his old man's part in the business, but at least you kept the victory from being sunk before she sailed. And for that, I owe you my thanks. You've really made a name for yourself here in Limsa, lass. Folk know that when they need something doing... Eh? You need something doing. And what might that be? Well, we found an encoded message on one of the pirates? You want someone to read a message written funny letters for you. And Gimthota thought I might know a man as could? Well, let's see it then. Aye. I reckon I might know a canny bugger what can read stuff like this. Ugly sod, uh, sod by the name of Batteron. You know, you're like one of me regulars now, Satora. You've never let me down yet, and Navigator helped me. I reckon I can trust you. Gimthota was right to want this message deciphered. We've got us some trouble brewing here, and m no mistake. Get ready for action, and I'll explain. Sounds like something bad is coming. Unfortunately, whatever bad is coming is going to have to wait. Because tomorrow is a Sunday episode. So we're getting back once again to side quests. Is it incredibly poor timing? Maybe, but you know what? Batteron's giving me an opportunity to get prepared, so you know, I'm gonna take the opportunity to do some side quests, help some people out, get some new gear, and get ready for whatever is coming. So, next time on Final Fantasy XIV, our next Sunday episode, more side questing. Let's see what last things we can do to help out around Limsa Lominsa and Lanosia. If my hunch is correct, yes, the last thing we really have to do is talk to Nania and take care of that whole chain of quests. So next time on Final Fantasy XIV, Nania, you're going to lead us on one more big set of quests to help out the people in the region. And then we'll be basically ready to move on with whatever Badron has to tell us. I will see everyone next time for that. <laughs>